There are different methods to touching off tools and this is the same for every machine. You can do this on Mazak lathes as well. But we use paper at our shop. Now other shops also use probes and lasers and things like that, which is, yes, it's a little more fancy, but at the same time, uh, touching off with a piece of paper can be just as accurate and you also have a chance to work it in. Now, when touching off with a piece of paper, remember the thickness of your paper. You can always mic it or something like that because whenever we end up touching off with a piece of paper, we're also gonna drop that thickness. A lot of people forget to do that and their part will be four thou big, five thou big because they forget that paper actually has an existing thickness to it. But it's a quick way to touch off your tools, especially if you only got two or three of them. So I'm going to bring my tool down to position. So I'm just going to maybe put it a couple hundred thou above my part. Now that my tool is a couple hundred thou above my part, I'm going to go in one thou increments. So I hit handle jog one thou increments and then I hit my Z direction. And then I'm going to put the piece of paper under it. I'm gonna to try to position my hand where you can see. And I'm just going to go down until I feel the tool stop me moving the piece of paper. So I'm just gonna wiggle the paper back and forth. Okay. So I'm just gonna wiggle the paper back and forth until I feel the tool stop the paper. All right, so now the paper stopped. And we're going to go into the offset mode. Now that I've touched my tool off, I'm gonna go into offset. As you can see, it has highlighted my work zero offset screen. That will be your G54, 55, and 56. Well, that's not what I want. I want to be able to touch my tool off. So all you have to do is hit offset again. And if you hit the offset button, it will toggle between work zero offset and your tool offset. From there, we're going to go into geometry. The very first thing I like to do whenever touching off tools before I hit tool offset measure is I like to zero out all these numbers. So if you got a new setup, then I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting in the habit of zeroing each one of these out because there's been times where I'll walk away and I'll forget whether or not I touched that tool off and I'll hit go and crash the machine. So if you wanna get into the good habits starting now, then hit zero F1 and then it might say greater than setting whatever, just say yes. Some machines won't ask you, if, is that okay if it's bigger than the number you're putting in? And some machines won't. If you're just zeroing them out, just agree to it. So hit zero F1 yes, zero F1 yes. And I'm just gonna go down the line and zero out all these numbers. Now in the coding, the number that you're seeing that we're inputting in is your H number. So on the very left side, it says what tool is in the spindle. Tool one is in the spindle. Very next line is gonna be your coolant position that you don't have to worry about right now. The very next line is gonna be your H length. That will be the number that it inputs in whenever you're reading your G code and it says change to tool one and use H one. That is saying use this geometry setting when you hit tool offset measure. So I'm gonna hit tool offset measure. And then if you have multiple tools to touch off, all I have to do is hit next tool and it's gonna to change to tool two and it will automatically put it into handle jog mode. That way you can go ahead and start touching your tools off. You don't have to hit tool offset, bring it up by hand, hit MDI tool two forward. You can just go tool offset measure, next tool, and it will change to tool two. You bring it down, touch off with a piece of paper, and then at the very end, what I like to do is go through each one of those and say minus .004 or however thick your piece of paper is. Now you can go ahead and do that as you touch off tools, but you will not be able to go tool offset measure next tool. You're gonna have to bring it up by hand and then change out of it and go back into it. And it's as simple as that.